welcome to supermani uh, this video is very different and i don't think there are too many such videos on youtube almost every youtube video tells you how to make money right what you should do and uh, how you should do an sip etc 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 this is not about that this is about uh, if you have made money what to do with it in the sense that uh, in certain professions uh, which could be uh, getting an esop in a technology company uh, or which and the company doing very well or you playing a sport or you being a actor or you being a musician then what happens is success comes to you very early and at a young age let's say you are 25 years of age and you have uh, you got 5 crores right from wherever whether you you sold music rights you acted in a movie you played cricket you played ipl you played some other sport you played chess uh, i'm not getting into how you made the money but you made the money the question is nobody now tells you what to do with that money so it's all your own uh, self learned uh, and you want to maybe put it in an index fund put it in a cryptocurrency or typical middle class is to go and buy a house and buy two three cars maybe uh, that's it that after that what how do you invest that is never told to you then you go and read and see what other people did and then you have the rich people saying oh what is money money doesn't mean anything it is just like uh, it has come today it will go tomorrow but believe me heart of hearts all of us who have money uh, and those who are aspiring to get money all know that money is important maybe the first 5 crores is important and after that it's not important maybe for you the first 10 crores is important and after that it is not important it does not really matter but don't get into these people who say oh money is not important money is bloody well important all those who peop- all those people who did not have it and who have got it know that money is important so let's not pretend that money is not important uh, so first step is internally uh, in your own head uh, start writing down what you want to do with the money do you want to tell your sibling let us say you have one sister who is married who is elder to you who is married she has got a kid and you are 25 years of age she is maybe 30 years of age okay uh, you have parents who have done well in life in the sense your father was a general manager in a company or a vice president in a company he has earned well he has got maybe 2 crores 3 crores put away for his retirement which is enough for him he has a house and uh, your mother was a school teacher and she is still working right she is a school teacher she is still working and the, they are they well off they brought you up with a lot of middle class values now you've got money what do you do what do you tell your brother do you tell your brother look uh, i will take uh, the family on a vacation once a year <coughs> or twice a year we will go i will bear all the expenses out of this or once in 3 years we will go on an international vacation and i will bear all the costs uh do you say no let me buy a bigger house where all of us i mean this is a 2 bhk in which we are living let us buy a maybe a bungalow if you are in a non metro or uh, or buy a bigger flat or buy two flats in the same floor of a building or three flats one for you one for me one for the one for our parents right so do you spend money on real estate do you do that kind of stuff what do you really do with money how do you share it with your siblings if you let's say you're married do you make rules and uh, on how much you will help your siblings how much will you help your first cousins will you say okay every wedding in the family i will give an x amount 5000 50000 5 lakhs choose a number right how will i manage that portion of the money right that is the spending portion how will i invest will i go and put all the money in an index fund liquid fund ultra short bond fund and say okay all my money will be in an index fund that's a very good way to handle it but when you are 25 26 years of age you may not have the brain power to think like that secondly you could have fomo because um, say 6 8 months back i invested in a technology fund which is an extreme level right it has got uh, it's got lot of shares which i would never have accessed it has got foreign foreign uh, uh, equity right 
so it is done very well so i would never have been able to get it but for the fact that some advisor i met spoke with and said oh, this is a good fund have you looked at it right or some somebody says that so these kind of things will always tempt you so even if you're in index fund you're tempted to do this so my first step would be for investing get a good investment uh, advisor speak to 1 2 3 4 then make a decision and after you have made a decision check out with others about his reputation because we don't have a website which says okay so and so did this one big fund manager who had has paid a big fine to sebi long back right but uh, it's there on record but not enough people know about it obviously i'm not naming him in a public forum but this has happened so choose your advisor carefully so know how to spend the money make the rules for spending the money is very important do you go and tell your sibling don't worry about parents uh, medical expenses etc completely i will underwrite it let us take a big insurance policy for the whole family and i will pay the premium right do you want to do that do you want your sibling let's say your sibling is a chartered accountant working in a big uh, company but he's also young right <clears throat> let's say he's 30 years of age and uh, you are 25 you got this money do you want to call him and say look uh, i want you to come stay with us uh, in the same house he's let's say he's living uh, outside you're in uh, bombay and he's living in bangalore you call him back and say look i don't want you to work somewhere else you come look after my money it's going to grow do you do that or do you say okay in case you need any money tell me because people will never ask for it or when you have <coughs> sorry uh like let's say some more time passes you got two nephews now your uh, uh, sister has two children do you just go and tell your sister look i'm going to put away 50 lakhs for each of these kids so that as and when they turn 18 this money can be useful for their education do you do that so check out on all this sit down write if you're married see whether how you will treat your wife's brothers children how will you treat your brothers children right so find out all this see what you will do see on whom what you will spend or will, will you say okay here is a small group of us a group uh, me my brother my brother's children my wife my wife's sister's children uh, my parents my wife's parents a small group for this small group i completely underwrite all medical expenses so here is a 2 crore 3 crore kind of an insurance or a 1 crore insurance uh, for the whole family so none of you ever have to worry about medical expenses this is a great way of doing things or you say okay here is a corpus which is available for anybody anything no questions asked you need to do some of these things because when you don't make rules for yourself and for your wife and for your parents you will never know your parents may never ask you or on the other hand your parents may completely leech you right both these things i have seen i have seen parents who say oh my son is earning very well he can afford it so whenever they go wherever they go they live life king size and that is not something which their son wants to spend money on because ultimately it is your money you have to decide how you want to spend it on your parents on your brothers on your on your brother on your friends right so friends father is unwell and you know that the friend is not doing very well financially do you want to go and step in make all these rules for yourself write it down put it in a piece of paper put it down in a word document uh, definitely share it with your parents share it with your wife with your spouse if uh, you're married and keep all these rules ready because once an event happens you will not be able to say yes or no right like you say okay 50 lakhs for each of my nephews or nieces i put away in a children uh, growth fund and uh, as and when it grows uh, when they are 18 this will grow to maybe 2 crores uh, and uh, fine that will contribute to their education right you can do that so find out what you want to do with your money write it down make sure that your money is being managed by a professional because you don't want to be handling all that while handling the pressures of your game or of your acting right uh, and whatever it is it's going to take a lot of strain Uh, so whether it is in movies or whether it is uh, music or whether it is a sport and i know people in all these categories who have earned a lot of money at a very young age <clears throat> so obviously when they earn money at a young age and they have no clue because the family is not used to handling crores parents have done very well yes but father had a salary father retired on a salary of say 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs 
it's not a small salary but that's the maximum that your father can think of and if he's not a, a finance person he has no clue where to go so you will need a lawyer you will need a chartered accountant to file your tax work uh, you will need uh, first of all you need sanity to sit and think what you want to do with your money you will have to discuss with somebody whom will you discuss because the people around you are not in that same league if all your friends are not in that league then what happens with whom do you really discuss get a financial planner do all this get your team organized all this you will need and then you don't know whether you're going to uh, continuously get money right you got 5 crores at 25 you do not know whether you whether at 26 you will get another 5 crores whether you will get 50 lakhs whether you get 1 crore you don't know any of those things with all these uncertainties in your career and uncertainties in your money you're definitely going to need a psychiatrist right so you go to a psychiatrist a sports psychiatrist or a person who is specializing in film uh, people's psychiatrist somebody like that you'll need a dietitian you will need a gym instructor you will need a lot of professionals around you see how many professionals you use on a permanent basis how many on a temporary basis how many cars how many drivers it's not going to be very easy because there is a spending portion and an investing portion both need a lot of effort so put uh, maybe make your wife in charge of the spending section but you write down the rules and uh, regulations and then make your wife uh, the in charge right so understand all this with money it's not going to be very easy also with your spouse you run the risk that in case something goes wrong with your marriage uh, and she wants a divorce uh, understand that she will be better prepared than you are because you have no clue that she wants a divorce at that stage you keep wondering oh my god I've given her so much of power so much of power of attorney she's a joint holder how do I take care right so think about all these things when you have a cool off period a non season uh, and then make the rules write it down make sure that all the people around you know the rules and how you're going to operate thank you